Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be speaking on Backwoods Barbie and her calling for the boycotting of um, Shiny Happy People by Amazon. Um, and it's, apparently it's due because they used two or three seconds of her voice and did not credit her, which for me is absolutely ridiculous. You can get away with that with YouTube. You're not going to get get away with that with Amazon. So I went back to look for the video and I can't seem to find this particular video on Barbie's channel. So I remember Rennell Smith did a video. So I'm going to use parts of Rennell's video. Please go check out her channel. I watch her content often. And I thought she did a really good job with this video. Now I'll link the um, actual video, uh, Rennell's video in the description. Uh, just using this just because I can't find Barbie's actual video. Otherwise I would just react to that. So let's get this started. Let me change playback. Let's go 1.5. That should do it. Let's go. The Dr. Docu series on Amazon because she was not credited. Really? At first, when this Docu series came out and she was being told how she is in the Docu series, this is how she felt. Uh, OMG. Okay, I just want to say I am so tickled right now. You can't tell me nothing today. Uh, -uh. you cannot tell. Okay, so I'm gonna slow this down just a a tad. Let's do 1.25. Now, as you can see, Barbie, when she finds out, she found out via subscribers, emails, texts, whatever. She was super excited to be a part of this docuseries when she found out her voice was used. Like she said, you can't tell her nothing. Tell me nothing. I got my sunshades on because my future is so bright, baby. Now, look, I don't know if y'all know. I don't know if you heard. I done heard. Shiny happy people. Dug her family secrets. The Duggar docu series that is available on Amazon Prime. I am mentioned, or my voice, I'm not mentioned, but my voice is on it. I ain't even watched it yet. Now, here's the thing that is really cool. Just even having your voice on something like that is like a huge accomplishment, in my opinion. Credit or not, I would, be, I would have been tickle pink too. Because, y'all, I've been so busy. When I started getting these messages, I was like, ah. Oh, no way. No way. Uh-uh. So I immediately went and tried to download it. I've already planned on watching the docuseries in next week because I'm going to give everybody time to tune in and watch next week. I will be doing recaps of each episode. I was like, oh, yay. I'm excited. Y'all already know. I'm so tickled right now. I'm like, yay. Oh, my God. And she deserves to be tickled. She deserves to be excited. It's a huge deal. Um, whether you like her or not, like, Kudos for her, for, for them even picking her clip to use. So my mama, she was like, what is that? Because <laughs> I said, I'm like, oh, I'm mentioning a docu-series. She's like, what is that? <laughs> it's like a documentary. This right here proves to you that dedication and hard work is very rewarding. I am very dedicated and extremely passionate about every single thing I talk about. If you can't already tell, okay? I don't know what um voice clip they took from my video or what video they took either way you included my voice thank you so much now right here when she finds out that she's you know was used um she's not seeing anything about credit right now she's just happy that she got mentioned or her clip was used excuse me i appreciate it i really do and as you heard she was ecstatic her voice was using the docu -C so I'm just going to skip along. Let me go. Let me skip along here. Say something. My voice was used in the Duggar docuseries. Okay. So now her whole demeanor is changed. But I didn't see my channel name. Didn't see anything referencing who was speaking. I wasn't contacted by anybody from production, writers, editors, Amazon, and they don't have to. So I'm going to just leave this right here because it shows the contrast I was looking for. Like I said, I will be linking Rennell's video in the description because I do want you guys to watch the whole thing because um, Rennell did a very good job. So she went from Barbie, I was talking about, she went from like extremely excited to extremely annoyed in like a breath, basically. I mean, to me, how can you be mad that a huge company puts you in a docuseries credit or not? It doesn't matter. And here's my thing. Say they don't credit you. Let's just let's just take Barbie's side on this one. They're like, you know, they used a clip. Three seconds. Three seconds. LB timed this on her live last night. Three seconds of a clip. 
of your video. Okay, three seconds out of three episodes, which are probably what I haven't watched this yet. I'm sure it's hours long. So Barbie wants credit for what? 0.0000000000.25% of a of a docuseries. Get out of here. I'm sorry. But for this argument, we're gonna take her side. You know, they didn't credit you. Fine. Why couldn't you be like the bigger person, Barbie, and just reach out to them and say, hey, this is backwards Barbie. You know, I was told that my a voice clip of mine was used in your uh, docu series. You know, I really appreciate that. Uh, my channel is backwards Barbie. Thank you so much. I'm honored. You know, I just wanted to reach out to say, like, you know, I appreciate you even using a clip of mine. Thanks again. Something of that nature. Like, because if you're ex truly grateful, you thank the people who gave you some sort of opportunity. But here, this didn't happen. Barbie felt she was due, like, full credit. Uh, she felt like she was disrespected, yada, yada, yada. And yes, being a YouTuber does take a lot of hard work. You know, the editing, the this, this, and that. But, like, if we're going to call a thing a thing, and LB showed this on her live, you know, last night as well. I'll link her live um, in the description as well. Ma'am, the clip that they used was of you reading an article from The Sun. So basically, you're mad because they didn't credit you for reading someone else's content. I'm sorry. That just makes absolutely no sense to me. Absolutely no sense. People nowadays are just entitled. They need to get their lives together. You know, we'd be trying with Barbie, but she's always doing something that's a mess. And this is just another one of those. Um, I wonder if this, that's why she decided to, like, I'm not sure if she privated the video, um, but I couldn't find it. Nowhere to be found. So, ma'am, like, the entitlement is just overflowing right now. And this is why those of us who critique you continue to do so. Because we want to support you. Like, I used to watch Backwards Barbie, like, all the time. Literally all the time. She was literally my go-to channel or one of them when I first found YouTube. I thought she was funny. She had, a, you know, some, some pretty good takes. And she seemed to be having fun with her content. So that's engaging. That, I, that drew me in. Lately, it's about her not being pay, able to pay her bills. You know, people picking on her. She's being bullied. Kitty Joy's hacking her. Wildflower, she's being mean to her. Like, ma'am. Everyone else can't be the problem but you. Life just doesn't work that way. And that's just my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. You know, lead with, like, humility. Lead with, like, being grateful. Because the more grateful you are for any opportunity, the more opportunities will come your way. After entitled, those opportunities will be either taken away or not given to you in the future. Again, three seconds of not being credited is nothing to be mad about. At the end of the day, you were actually in a docu series. Uh, Katie Joy got dropped from the docu series, and in my opinion, that's why it really boils down to Katie Joy, because in my opinion, backwards Barbie thought she got a one up on Katie Joy because Katie Joy was dropped and her voice clip was used, but she's salty because she was not credited. So people don't know unless you know Barbie and know her voice will know who she is and she wants to be that noter she wants to be that notoriety. I'm just gonna say it. Barbie is just like Kitty Joy. They both want to be famous at any cost and any slide is like almost like World War II or something. It's just crazy to have these blow ups over minuscule things. Yes, Barbie works hard on her video. She pumps out the content. I, I credit her work ethic, but instead of focusing on these little details, focus on your craft, hone it, do better, because you have a talent to do better. That's the thing, Barbie. I will continue to say this. You have the talent to do much better and be further along than where you are. You have the charisma. You have the work ethic. You have that thing, but you choose to focus on the wrong things. If people don't like you, that is A-OK. -okay. Continue to focus on your craft. You have multiple channels. Focus on those. Focus on building your brand. Focus on that. Quit focusing on people who either A, don't like you, or B, or aren't worried about you in the first place. Focus on you. Reach your potential. Yes, I'm critical, but I'm not so blinded by my criti being critical that I can't say that Barbie has the talent to do much better than what she's doing. 
That being said, everyone, please don't be out here like falling out over um, three second clips. Please don't do that. And make sure to check out Nell Smith and LB for their takes on this story. And let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for joining me and I will see you in the next one.